This is how you can create an awesome Christmas themed pattern swatch inside Adobe Illustrator. My name is Kent, I'm a graphic designer and this is Dia Graphics. So before we start, we need to do some very quick settings. So go down in the corner and click on the transform panel. If it isn't open, you can go to window and find the transform panel right here. Then go to this drop down menu right here and make sure that align new objects to pixel grid is off and also scale strokes and effects is off. And that's the settings. So now let's start drawing. So first we want to do the present. So select the rectangle tool and while holding down the shift key, draw a quick square. Then go to width and height, make sure this link is on and make the width and height 30 pixels. And for the stroke width, you can simply select one point. Then zoom into the object so we can see what we are doing. Now simply duplicate this square and drag it on top of the other square. Then while holding down the Alt key, expand the width a little bit. Then make the square less tall so it ends up being a lit. Now go to the line tool and draw a line all the way through the middle of the present. You can hold down the shift key to make sure it's straight. Now zoom in a tiny bit more. Then we need the ellipse tool and draw some ovals from this anchor point right here and just something like this. Then tilt the oval 45 degrees while holding down the shift key and align it so you think it fits. Now select the reflect tool and while holding down the alt key click this anchor point right here, click preview and copy the oval. Now if you like you can simply select the ovals and move them a little bit so they intertwine. And that's the present. Now select the entire present, click the stroke menu and select round cap and round join. Then right click the present and click group. So now we can move it around as one object. Next thing we need to draw is the snowman. So select the ellipse tool and while holding down the shift key, draw a circle. Then draw another circle from this anchor point right here while holding down the Alt key and the Shift key and make it a tiny bit smaller. And with the arrow keys, you can simply notch it up a little bit until you think it fits. When the head is placed correctly, go to the Selection tool and select the entire snowman. Then select the Shape Builder tool and fuse these shapes together. Now we need to draw the arms of the snowman and we are creating the arms with a circle. So once again select the Ellipse tool, go to the middle of the head it will say center right here. Then hold down the Alt key and the Shift key and draw a circle until it reaches around the middle of the body. Now select the line tool, go to around the neck of the snowman, a guideline like this will appear. Hold down the Alt key and the Shift key and draw a line like this. Now go to the selection tool and select the entire artwork. Then select the shape builder tool and while holding down the Alt key to get the minus next to the cursor, click this part of the circle to erase it and then click this part of the circle also to erase it. Now go to the selection tool and simply delete this straight line. And here we have the arms. So now we want to create something like a hand and we do this kind of the same way. So select the ellipse tool and while holding down the Alt key and the shift key, draw a circle from the tip of the arm. Something like this. Then duplicate this circle while holding down the shift key to drag it to the other arm. Now go to the line tool and draw a line all the way from the left arm over to the right arm. Then once again select everything, select the shape builder tool and while holding down the shift key, delete this part of the circle and also in the other side. Then select the rest of the straight line and simply delete it. And here we have the arms with a hand. So now I want to create the buttons and the face. So once again select the ellipse tool and draw a small circle from the center. Then instead of a stroke, make it a fill. Then use the arrow keys to notch the eye a little bit to the left. Then go to edit, go to copy, then go to edit again and select paste in front. Now we have an eye on top of the other eye. And because I moved the first eye two times to the left, we need to double that up and move this eye four times to the right. One, two, three, four. Now simply duplicate one of these eyes and place it as a button on the belly. Then duplicate this one more time. And for the final button, we use Ctrl D to repeat the step. Then grab the line tool and draw a mouth from one eye to another eye while holding down the shift key to make sure it's straight. Make the stroke one point, go to the stroke menu and click round cap and round join. Then go to effects, 
go to warp and go to arc. Select the preview. So here we get a sad snowman and we want a heavy one. So simply just click minus 50% and click OK. Then select the entire snowman and make it approximately the same size as the present. Then right click and click group. Then move a little bit to the right. And now we want to do the star and this one is very easy. Simply go to the star tool, hold down the shift key and draw a star. Then select the line tool and simply draw some lines from here to here, all the way around the star. And that's it for the star. We simply now need to group it and scale it. So select the entire star, right click the star and click group. Then pull it down and scale it up a little bit so it fits the other drawings. Then again move to the right. And here we need to create a simple Christmas tree. So go to the line tool and while holding down the shift key draw a straight line like this. Then go to the selection tool and duplicate this line while holding down the shift key. Then simply duplicate a line slightly above the first one. Now use Ctrl D to duplicate the step a lot of times. Then select the line tool and as you can see this is the top of the other drawings. So select a line around this height too. Then simply draw a line from here and to the bottom. Then go to the reflect tool and while holding down the alt key click this anchor point right here. And then simply click copy. Now grab the line tool once again. And while holding down the shift key draw a straight line from this anchor point and down to the bottom. Then select the entire drawing. Select the shape builder tool and while holding down the alt key delete all the lines up to the top one. So not this one. Do the same thing in the other side. Then go to the selection tool and simply select these lines and delete them. Then select these two lines and delete those two. And here we have our Christmas tree. If you want the sticks to be closer you can simply just put them a little bit closer. Now select the entire Christmas tree, right click it and click group. And if you want to adjust the height a little bit you can do that. Then go to the right and here we want to do the candy cane. For this select the ellipse tool and while holding down the shift key draw a perfect circle. Then select the direct selection tool right here and delete this anchor point right here. This creates a half circle. Then go to the pen tool, connect to this anchor point right here and while holding down the shift key draw the long side of the candy cane. Then go to the selection tool, select the candy cane and we need to widen the stroke to the width that we want the candy cane to be ultimately. So go to stroke and find the correct size, maybe two and a half point. That looks great for me. Then go to object, go to expand, make sure fill and stroke is on and click OK. Then instead of a fill, make it a stroke. And let's try to scale it up a little bit. That looks fine. Now go to the line tool and while holding down the shift key, draw a line 45 degrees through the candy cane. Then duplicate this line and click Ctrl D to duplicate the step. And for the curve section, we want to do it manually. So select the line tool again and simply draw a manual stroke. Make the distance about the same as here. Now select the entire drawing. Go to the shape builder tool and while holding down the alt key, simply delete all the excess lines. Then go to the selection tool and select the candy cane, right click it and click group. And that's the candy cane. Now go a little bit to the right. And now we want to create the Christmas ornament. So first go to the ellipse tool and draw a circle. Then select the rectangle tool and go to the middle of the circle right here. Hold down the alt key and draw a box like this. Then select both shapes. Select the shape builder tool and fuse these shapes together. Then go to the line tool and draw a small line from the middle of the top and up a little bit. You can hold down the shift key to make it straight. And as you can see from this, our strokes has some sharp corners again, which means we need to select the entire drawing. Go to the stroke menu and select round cap and round join once again. And now to create a little bit of detail, we want to create a snowflake inside the middle of the ornament. But let's create the snowflake next to the ornament, not inside it. So select the line tool 
and draw a line like this. Then go near the top and while holding down the shift key, draw a 45 degree line up to the top right here. Then go to the reflect tool, hold down the alt key and click on the anchor point right here. Then click copy. Now simply select these two lines, duplicate them and move them down a little bit. Then while holding down the alt key and the shift key, shrink the lines down a little bit. And I will move them down just a tiny bit. Now select this drawing, go to the rotate tool and while holding down the alt key, click this anchor point right here. Then click 360 divided by 6 and click copy. Then click Ctrl D to duplicate this step until you have a full circle. Then select the entire snowflake, bring it down a little bit and place it inside the ornament. Now select the entire ornament, right click it and click group. And now we should be done with our drawings, which means that we can now begin creating the pattern swatch. So zoom out. And here is all our shapes. But before we can do a pattern swatch, we need to do some preparations with our drawings first. So first of all, let's shrink the ornament down just a little bit. And at this point, you can adjust all the sizes of the drawings. They don't have to be the same size, that's just what I choose. But we need to figure out a nice and equal distance between all the drawings. So let's start off by moving this to the right while holding down the shift key to make sure I move it in a straight line. Then select all the drawings. And this is why it's very important that all the drawings are grouped. If not, you will run into issues with this next step. So while having all the drawings selected, go to Horizontal Distribute Center. This will get you most of the way. I want the drawings to be spread even further. So select one of the side drawings and move it a little bit more. The way this distribute feature works is that when I select all the drawings, it distributes the inner drawings between the most right and the most left drawing. As you can see, the most left and the most right drawing do not move. It's only the inner drawings that move. So click Horizontal Distribute Center once again. And because the candy cane is very thin, it will make more space between this and this. So we need to make some small adjustments. So let's do this. Move the shapes until you think it looks about right. Then select all the shapes once again and click Vertical Align Center. This makes sure that all the drawings are on a straight line. And as you can see, my drawings isn't the exact same size, but it doesn't matter. So now the alignment is completed. Now zoom out a little bit. Then select all the drawings again. And now while holding down the Alt key and the Shift key, drag a copy of the drawings all the way to the right of the first drawings. Make sure the space between these drawings are about the same as the other ones. Then select all these drawings now go to edit, go to copy, then go to edit again and paste in front. This means we now have a copy on top of the other drawings. And now we need to move these copies up. So now while using the arrow keys to move the drawings up, hold down the shift key to make the steps bigger. Remember how many steps you moved it up. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, maybe 9. You want around the same distance between this and this. When you have the same distance between here and here, we now want to move the drawings to the left. So we want this candy cane to align with this space right here. So count how many steps that is. Hold down the shift key and click the left arrow key. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. I do want to move it a little bit further though to make more of the other shapes align. 13, 14. I think this looks better. So that's 9 moves up and 14 to the left. Now simply do the same thing for this one. So go to edit, go to copy, then go to edit again and paste in front. Then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 and 14. And do it once again. Edit, copy, edit again and paste in front. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 and 14. These are all the copies that we need. Because as you can see, if I do one more row, the drawing will start to overlap the original drawings. The present will end up right here. And we already have this present right here. Remember we want to do a tile, so let me demonstrate this. So if I take all these drawings and repeat them down here, 
we don't want the two presents to be just under each other. So if you have more variations of drawings, you might need to do some more rows before creating the pattern. So let's delete the copies. So now we need to cut off the drawings that we don't need for our pattern. So we only need one of each drawing in each row. So as you can see, I have the first present right here. And if I run to the right, I'll get a new present right here. So simply delete this present and all the way up right here. You can delete all this and do the same thing for the other side. So just next to the present and run up right here. And as you can see, I have the snowman right here. So I delete this one. And also I have the candy cane right here. So delete this one. Now we're left with only the shapes that we need. So just to give the pattern a more fun look, I will rotate all the drawings a little bit and also move them a little bit around so they are not completely straight. Now let's move them a tiny bit out of line. So now select all the drawings, go to object, go to pattern and go to make. And as you can see, we need to do some adjustments because these lines are placed totally against each other. So go down here and click size tile to art. Then go to vertical spacing and choose something you think looks nice. Let's try with 50 pixels. That is definitely not too bad. Maybe just a tiny bit less. I think this is better. And for me, the horizontal distance looks about right but if the distance for you is too small, simply adjust it in edge spacing. As you can see right here, if I put in 50, it will spread out a little bit more. But now it's too much, so let's select zero. The goal is simply to make the pattern seem seamless. If you want a little bit more variation, you can go to tile type, click brick by row and fiddle a little bit with the brick offset. I will choose one fifth. When you are happy with the result, Click done. So now you can simply delete these shapes or move them to the side. As I move them, I can see I made a mistake. I have a white fill inside the present. So make sure not to do that as well. You only want the outline. Now you can draw a shape and click on the pattern swatch you just made. And if you ever want to change something, simply just double click the pattern swatch. And here you can change everything you want you can move around with the shapes or even remove the fill to correct the mistake I made. Of course, you want to do it on every drawing. Click done. And if you ever want to scale it up and down, you can select the shape with the pattern swatch, right click it, go to transform, go to scale. And here you want scale strokes and effect to be on. And now you can scale the pattern just as you like. I hope you are having an amazing day. If you want to watch more pattern designs, you can check out one of my videos on the end card right now. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.